You will need a torque wrench set to 80 inch pounds with a 5 16 hex head bit. These are available through IPEX. To speed the install along, you may wish to use a drill. If so, a drill with less than 80 inch pounds of torque should be used, or a drill that has a clutch mechanism that can be set to less than 80 inch pounds. You can calibrate or measure your drill's torque against a hand drive torque wrench. Before installing an MJ Gray coupling, be sure the pipe ends are cut square, free from burrs, and wiped clean with a rag. Do not chamfer the pipe or fitting ends. Separate the rubber sleeve from the metal shield. Install the rubber sleeve on one side of the joint. Ensuring that the sleeve is on all the way, it should line up with the pipe stop. Mark the insertion depth. Then remove the rubber. Slide the metal band over the second side of the joint. Then install the rubber sleeve on the second side. Slide the metal shield over half of the rubber sleeve. You may want to temporarily tighten one screw clamp to ensure the coupling doesn't move while inserting the second half. In some instances, where fittings are very close to each other, sliding the metal shield on first may not be an option. In these cases, you can fully unscrew each clamp and separate the metal shield so that it can be placed around the rubber sleeve after. Work the second spigot or pipe into the coupling. Ensure it bottoms out to the insertion line drawn earlier. Alternatively, if working in a tight space, it may be easier to install the coupling by rolling the rubber sleeve back onto itself. Then align the second spigot or pipe and roll back the rubber sleeve. Slide the metal shield fully over the rubber sleeve. Starting from the center screws, work your way to the outside tightening each screw clamp. Once each clamp has been initially tightened, torque each one to 80 inch pounds again, starting from the middle and working out.